Hello amigos, Rich Enemy here, and welcome back to more Sonic Forces. I'm going to change the options before we go into it. I'm just going to put the language on something else, just so I can uh, know what the voice sound like in like another language, so let's try this. There we go. <laughs> May as well. Um, I was originally planning to turn off the actual um, in-game dialogue altogether, but... And then I noticed you can change the language to something that isn't just English or Japanese, and I thought, well, I don't think that's been in a Sonic game before. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't recognise it being in a Sonic game before. So what we're going to do... Uh, we're not going to go back to that. The first thing I want to do is the daily mission. I checked what the mission is beforehand, and let's literally just change your wisp. So let's change our wisp. There we go. Now, our daily mission gives us bonus experience and hopefully that will make us more likely to get the S rank when we go for these stages. Um, I would like to have a character that has a wisp, a wisp bomb that I'm not using, please. <laughs> so yeah, um, I keep pressing start. <laughs> so um, part of like the extra stuff for 100% is just like these extra missions and they're basically the stages we've already been to but they like changed like a tiny bit of design. I believe most of them are 2D as well. Um, uh, they're made to be more challenging and yeah, pretty, pretty much it. But um, nice little extra addition to the game. It's not the only thing though you need to do for 100%. Um, for example, um, there's uh, collectibles on the levels you can collect. Uh, there's three different types of collectibles. I'll get into that when we get to that. Ugh, gosh. <laughs> but this one, we've got to dodge a lot of fire. But clearly, just somebody just couldn't decide how much fire they wanted to level, so they thought they just burn the whole forest. But at least we get to listen to this fantastic... Well, the music track that's gone now, but that music track's amazing. Yeah, we go. Great. Got this rank. Um, the other things you want to do is like this, the missions, like, so you have like rewards for completing missions and they give you avatar um, accessories and wisp bombs and stuff. So I want to go for all of them. And uh, the uh, last thing, which is still technically part of the um, missions and the rewards, is uh, you can rank your avatar up and there's like a max level. So I'd like to go for max level, just why not? <laughs> Um, the the reward for getting 100% is pretty much just avatar accessory stuff. Like, that's, well, technically that's not the reward for 100%. Um, to be completely clear, the reward for 100% is actually like nothing. <laughs> um, but the, you get avatar pieces along the way to getting 100%, so you know. is kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. You may be asking, well, if you don't get anything, why are you bothering? Well, um, I have like um, a lot of, um, uh, I didn't have like everything, but I had a lot of um, stuff on my um, previous data, but I deleted, okay. I deleted my um, my save data when I wanted to start this playthrough, so I don't have my stuff anymore. So I, I want to get my stuff back anyway, and um, well, why not kill um, two guys with one stone and record it at the same time? I almost jumped over that spring. <laughs> now, I messed up quite a bit, the spring. But hopefully, it looks. Yeah, that's it is. cool. <laughs> Alright. Um, these stages are a lot harder to get an S rank on if we don't do the daily missions, but, like, it's there. I may as well do it, you know? I'm not gonna bother not doing it. <laughs> I remember the um, Shadow the Hedgehog levels for the episode Shadow were a lot harder to get and that the S ranks on and um, you also can't get um, daily missions for them, like the bonus for them. Because if you do a daily bonus here, then quit out and then go to the um, that level, the, the episode Shadow, it doesn't count it for some reason. Probably because it's like a separate thing, but whatever. Oh, okay. 
Well, I'm gonna like full on restart because that will actually count like that part, like that death as part of the run for when I get the ranking. And I'd like to, you know, not have to replay these levels again. But, uh, I see. Okay. Now this is kind of like the um, Sonic Colors stage where you have those ticking um, bomb things. I believe a big reason as to why I got the game over was because I did the um, stomp. And uh, yeah, you don't really want to do that in this stage. Uh, go go fast. <laughs> so the stomp can break those crates that the bombs have been breaking. And literally like... Oh jeez. Okay, we're restarting that. As soon as you touch the bomb, it starts to, you know, go off. Kind of like uh, the TNTs in Crash Bandicoot, except you don't have to touch them from the top. You can just touch them like anywhere and they will start to explode. Okay, um, I did the ground pound again there, but I, I think if you ground pound the bombs then uh, it doesn't matter, so that's all good. Make sure I don't ground pound one of the uh, crates again. Oh. Okay. Oh, I can still go this way. I won't have enough ring. I won't have as much rings though in the, um, in the results at the end, but hopefully it doesn't matter. The double bonus thing, or whatever it's called, the daily reward bonus, or push it up. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, you see those gold badges. Once we get a third one there, then that means our avatar rank is maxed. And then I'll make another avatar, and basically, you've got to get like max rank for every single type of avatar, which is kind of tedious. and but I might end up getting everything else before I get to that point, so if that happens I might change how I do these streams a bit, but we'll see. <laughs> That's... Yeah, pop on. Cool. Thinking about it, actually, this is pretty unique because um, you don't play as the avatar in this part of Chemical Plant. The um, the Chemical Plant that Avatar goes to is on the outside bit. I never really thought about that, actually. That's pretty cool. And um, these little green things that are shooting those balls are from Sonic Colors as well, actually. From the um, uh, Space Carnival level. The third zone in the in the um the game. These levels are so short. <laughs> like even shorter than the actual levels. I get I guess that's fine. They get to get more done and have this game hundred percent quicker. <laughs> Although actually to be fair I would have preferred them to be longer, but <laughs> Oh well. You know, probably noticed actually um, a lot of the power up well, items that we're getting for beating these are actually wisp ones. That's pretty much everything that you get. Um, obviously, you have more than one of the same wisp on, and they just mean they have different abilities. So, like, I've got the electric shield whenever I play as the avatar, for example. Oh. Now, these are also in Sonic Colors as well, except in Sonic Col Colors. Um, it wasn't. It didn't move on its own. You press the button to make it move. So I guess it kind of acted a bit differently. It's kind of weird that they put all those rings on the left. Side. I want to slow down just a little bit because otherwise I'm going to keep getting hit by these. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> I thought I was going to get hit there, to be honest. God. <laughs> like, jump isn't exactly what I like it to be like, to be honest, but... Who did it?
Uh, I believe the daily um, bonus, uh, daily mission bonus, lasts for about thirty minutes. So uh, I'm gonna be going for S ranks while the daily bonus is on, and then once it turns off, I'm gonna be looking for the items. That way, the um, S ranks will be easier to get. And then when I start up like the next stream, I'll just um, I'll do the daily bonus again, and we're gonna go for S ranks um, until it runs out again. I believe this has the um, cubes that disappear when you attack them, which were also in Sonic Colors. <laughs> like all of these levels are like inspired by Sonic Colors, I swear. Okay. For some reason, I thought I had like a wisp bomb for this character. I'm just gonna use him. Oh, his one can't go through. That's kind of like. I don't know why they would design it like that. I mean, I guess the point would be to attack them by like sliding. Well, that's a bit tedious. It is nice that like, I know that it would be cool to have original tracks and stuff. Well, like for these stages, but I do really like how they're just using the levels, the level themes. Cause like, I really like this song. I, I like a lot of the soundtrack inside of courses, to be honest. That no, not very well here. It is nice to have um, voiced tracks in the Sonic game again as well. Something we haven't had for a while. And yeah, you have to destroy all the enemies there. Otherwise that block won't move. And that's that. I'm pretty sure the only reason I level lasted over a minute is because I messed up. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, we got a mission completed though. Look, the camera, the camera. <laughs> There's some of these um like items you can get pretty crazy. And I'm kind of hoping I could like retry that. But... I move on to the last, the last one, and then. The daily bonus should still be active, and I'm just quickly go back to the other one. It's also ridiculous how it's going over 100%. Oh no, that was the last one. No wait, no, there is more. Yeah, you have these extra ones, I forgot about these. So I believe that's a total of like, uh, 12 extra stages. But the other ones weren't called extra stages, they were called something else. No, I really wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> To what they were called. I remember this one. Of course, these are the pots from Sonic Colors. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I really wanted to try and. Ah, oh, I always forget about that bit there. I'm gonna restart. I think they really wanted to try and call back with Sonic Colors in this one. I mean, for starters, even Sonic has like the double jump and everything, which that wasn't in Generations, that was in Colors. And it's like, I kind of have like a theory about that because, like. Fight again. <laughs> I wish I could just like pause while I die and restart it and then to respawn before I die. I need to like not jump though. Um, because while um, Sonic has the double jump and it has like loads of like similar aesthetics, like not aesthetics, but like um, similar um, level tropes and Sonic colors, um, there's also the fact that like you can't really um, drift or anything. Um, and like, I mean, you can drift in Sonic colors, but it was only for special sequences. You're serious, this is annoying. Controls. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Just changed the properties of how they work now. Like, earlier I was holding forward and that didn't hurt me, and now it just does. Oh. There's a spike ball there, try not to jump into it. Well, 
that was just bad. <laughs> Maybe I should just be a bit more slower then. I can go fast, I like going fast. See, I was trying to avoid that, and then after it went in the other direction, and I wasn't expecting it to go there. Why didn't his jump go? Thank you, Commander Root, for following me. I should turn my um, sound out, because <laughs> otherwise that's going to echo, and I don't want to do that. But I hope you're enjoying my failure. Okay, I'm going to keep that death, and hopefully that doesn't screw with the run too much. Apparently, I just have to get hit by these spikes all the time. I sure like getting hit by these spikes all the time, but I gotta do it. I always stay out of line. <laughs> this stage is a pain. I don't actually remember finding this one very enjoyable when I first played it, to be honest. But then again, it's actually like something that I'm finding kind of challenging in this game, so I guess I should be liking it because I usually find this game pretty easy, so, you know, there's that. I'll, I'll, pr I'll praise the game for being a little bit hard. <laughs> Here we go. I can't tell whether they could like, I, I just boost over this. Cool. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell where the um, spike balls were going to land. I'm, I'm so glad I got an extra <laughs> I don't want to play that again. Well, hopefully that didn't take so long the daily mission's over. We should have about 12 minutes left of the daily bonus, okay. Well, hopefully that's enough time to finish out the rest of the stages. But from the looks of things, it seems like these ones are a lot harder than the last six I just did. But I only played these like once or twice before. Um, I usually go back to... Oh, have I not unlocked the other ones yet? I don't think I've unlocked the other... Oh, that's right. You have to get red rings and stuff to unlock the other ones. Alrighty then. So I did not get an S rank on this one. So let's try this one again. Sure. Have that damn hedgehog again of all places. Except Shadow says that to Sonic, so. <laughs> I found you, Faker. We should be okay as long as I don't mess up that jump over and over again like I did last time. That's it, you will fall. I couldn't make my mind up on whether I wanted to maybe attack that guy or not. I must say, these um, it's probably intentional, but these guys remind me of the Eggborns, and like I have no complaints about that because the Eggborns are cool. I prefer the orange colour, but you know, this is, this is still fine. At least they look like, you know, Eggman robots. That's so cool. I, I prefer them to look like this than um, like the Swap Bots or the Bots in Sonic 06. Although the bots in Sonic 06 do actually look kind of cool. Um, they just, they look cool as robots, but they just, it doesn't feel like they're Eggman robots, if that makes sense. There we go. Got an extra Right, and that's 10 minutes left of daily bonus, so we're gonna use that up with some of the levels that we haven't got an S rank in. I noticed why I didn't retry earlier. You press the Y button to retry. That's why. <laughs> That's why. Bad puns. Oh, we've got an SOS mission. At all and we don't actually have an S rank on that one, so you know what, let's go for that. So yeah, we have three different types of SOS missions we can do. 
The red ones, uh, so you use an avatar that's sent in to clear the stage, so I believe they give you an avatar. In the green ones, use avatar... Wait, that's just, just the same thing. There is a difference between them. One of them, you have a partner, so that's the green one, I believe. And the red one forces you to pick, to be like an avatar, you don't have a choice. Um, and then the other one is you find an animal capsule on the stage and you have to, um... Oh my god, Espio's voice is so cool in French. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, you find an animal capsule on the stage. Uh, those ones are probably the most difficult, because if you play, like, a level where it's, like, hard to backtrack in, then, of course, you're gonna have a bit of trouble finding that animal capsule. They're not like you. Then, from what my experience, they're not in like completely like hidden locations that are hard to find. But you know, um, uh, it's it's still a bit of a pain, just like you know, being forced to find something in more linear design. Um, I I think it's mostly because you only have one chance at finding it. Like, it's not like the, um, the items in the stages where you can just replay and, you know, get those red rings again or whatever. And, like, I know I could be getting the red rings right now, but, like, I feel like the more levels I play while I have this daily mission on, uh, the more S ranks I can get. Uh, let's wait for the line up. I believe the perfect gets you more points, yeah. Oh, we still collected a red ring. Uh, the red rings work exactly like they do in Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations, Sonic Lost Worlds, all those great games. Well, minus Lost Worlds. <laughs> um, yeah. I was not expecting Amy to sound like that. <laughs> Amy kind of sounds like a like a bit robotic. It's really weird. Um, I believe the bird has a double jump. I can't really show that off because. Damn, I lost like all of my rings. That might hinder my um score at the end. <laughs> These voices are great. Except Amy's, I didn't really like Amy's. And there we go, that's that stage. Yes, okay, we still got an S rank, even though we- Oh, we had 156 rings, so that was still quite a bit. Unless... does it- No, it's probably because there was a load of them at the end of the stage, yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be looking very smart with these suits. The lost- uh, the avatar was playing as the bird was actually- uh, but I think it was, um, Joker's from Persona 5's, like, tuxedo. It's pretty cool. Or a jacket. Yeah, it is a tuxedo. Yeah, it is a tuxedo. Okay. <laughs> we'll wait to you. Let's have a look. Stages. Luminous Forest needs an S rank. And we can show something else off, actually. Um, play a shadow in here. Oh, you can't play a shadow in this one, can you? Okay, I can't remember if Supersonic allows you to get an S rank, so I'm not going to play a Supersonic. Uh, um, I will switch to um, Shadow in a bit. It's always nice playing Shadow. Now, luckily, because of these missions, for sure, you can fit quite a few in. Assume, assuming I don't fail, <laughs> I could, like, you know, mess up so much. And, you know. Some of these shortcuts in this section, particularly, are pretty hard to pull off. I, I can do that without slowing down, but I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> there is a red ring up there, so that's good. There's an alternate path here, actually. That'd probably be useful, because there's um, plus bombers here. You know, they'll get you points. Oh, so I just felt like slowing down for a second. I usually boost through these, but like, I'm gonna homing attack them, because... You get points for, you know, hurting the enemies. 
I suppose there's quite a lot of robots on this track actually, so I mean, either way you get a lot of points. And now we've got the snake. I'm gonna actually try and get the perfect this time. Uh, these perfects are going to help a lot of points. I'm, I'm assuming the other ones don't run as much points because there's going to be a lot of them. But we'll see. I think they're the same amount of points. Just missed that one, but that doesn't matter. It should be fine. A spam wider. Oh, I missed a lot of rings actually. I shouldn't have done that. That doesn't matter. And that should be done. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. Four minutes, maybe? Oh, a pink chow backpack. That is pretty cute. So, I mean, we should be able to fit in one more stage. So, have a look. What else have we got left? I'll probably pick a um, stage that isn't classic sign. Maybe this one? I feel... I feel like Sunset Heist is going to be a bad bet for me. Yes, so play Shadow, so we do that. Because the other one I die quite a lot on, and if I've only got four minutes left, then I feel like it's better to do a stage that I can consistently finish fast. Whereas if I did the other one, I'd probably die like ten times before I actually do it, because I don't like the, the water slide. Then again, when I was playing through the story of this game, I didn't have to press anything to um, beat those wall slide sections, so I will. I'll try that out next stream. Just missed that red ring, that's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll go back for it, but like, I'll have a playthrough. Oh, I was expecting him to land, but he didn't. Okay. It's, it's so cool having Shadow be playable, like, again. And I really wish they'd, like, add more characters to be playable. I, just, I love playing as the other characters. I know, like, he just controls, like, Sonic. But, you know, like, it's fine. Like, the skin, the, the skin swap is enough for me, to be honest. Obviously, if it was Tails or something, I'd like him to be able to fly. I was almost about to boost there, but I don't have boost. <laughs> Oh, the great part about this level is we'll be Shadow and we get to see a Shadow Clone. Shadow Clone Jutsu. <laughs> Sweet. We must still have... Oh, we only got one minute left for the, um... I'll complete a level while boosting, so there's another one. I don't think we'll be able to fit in another daily mission S rank. So what we're going to do now, we're going to head over to Green Hill again, and we're going to try and get those red rings. Um, hopefully that will unlock more extra levels, um, which I will end up playing in the next stream because I can redo the daily missions. Because, oh actually we've got another S um, SOS, let's head for the SOS. Oh then again, it's one of those find the animal ones. Try. I don't know how well this is going to go. Hover whistle, please. From memory, I don't remember there being too many diverging paths on the on foot section. So hopefully that means that we should be okay with um, finding the capsule. I always love seeing this cutscene. <laughs> I believe that was the first time we had Eggman's voice in French, yeah. I don't think I heard him before in the stream. And that, oh, and that, that was Silver was talking as well. Silver's alright. Oh. Good thing I picked... Well, I should... Okay, I'm glad I got a ring. I was gonna say, I should, Oh! There it is. That was easy. Now we just need to beat the level without dying. And 
Maybe we could net ourselves an S rank because we did get a. Uh, we didn't have an S rank on this before. Because on the first playthrough I did of this, I believe I died like right near the end. The part where you have um, a platform that you have to jump up to. I'll point it out when we get to it. Let's take a left path. I can't remember what path I took when I blasted this. Oh, there's a red ring here. Cool. I can't remember where the red rings are from the top of my head. But I don't remember them being too horrible to find. Now, this is the arrow I died last time. So I didn't have the burst wisp. So I had to, like, jump up manually and... I think I had the hover wisp, actually. I can't remember. No, I definitely didn't have the hover wisp. I had the drill, I think. Yeah, I had the drill. I got a bit reckless with it. I love the wolf so much. We just attract all these rings. It's so fun. It's it's really nice in games like platform games where they like attract like items to you, like in Spyro. Oh yes, this rank. Where you have like sparks and he grabs the gems for you. And stuff like that is always like I quite like. Um, my blue. I think Crash to Insanity had something like that with the um, Wampa Fruit. I can't remember though, it's been ages and stuff like that. Now, Mario Galaxy had that when um, you did the spin attack, I believe. In a way, it's kind of like having the electric shield, but the electric shield has more reach, so it still makes the electric shield feel more useful. Okay, so let's head to that first stage. Yep. Uh, we need four red rings here. It's plain sa sh shadow. <laughs> I was about to say that blue hedgehog again all the places, but no, it's, it's not blue. Sonic's blue. Right, we won't actually hear the voice acting, because when you play a shadow, it gets rid of the voice acting. Uh, probably because the characters talk to Sonic. That would make sense. <laughs> Be a bit weird when you're like, hey Sonic, and it's like you're playing Shadow. I believe um, the reason you can't play as Shadow in levels like Luminous Forest is because it has a quick time event. There you go, that's the first one. I believe a lot of these red rings are in this 2D section. I'm gonna like take my time with it. Is there one up? I think there's one up here. But I think there's also one down below as well. It's up in this tree, yeah. Um, I feel like it'd be best to take the top path, but then go back down once we've scoured the whole thing. Then not anything. Yeah, let's head back. Nope, not that far back. Well, yes, that far back actually. But I don't want to go that far forward, is what I meant. There's a red ring here, and I'm on the last one too. Cool. That sorts that out, so we can just finish the rest of the stage as fast as we need. And then getting all those red rings um, actually unlocks more collectibles than you can find in the stage. And I'll talk about them when we, when we get to them. I believe uh, the collectibles that they are is. Um, uh, they're returning collectibles from Sonic the Lost World. They were definitely in Lost World. I can't remember if they were um, in any other game. Though. There you go, there's that stage. Oh! So, we've maxed out a wall. So we should make another character before we start the next stage, because then we can get XP for the next character. We level up quite quickly, to be fair. Like, after beating the game, um, I... I did not want to press the start though. I'm assuming that's saved. <laughs> Yeah, I did save. Okay. So we want to get our avatar. And we're going to create a new one. Let's create a theme one this time. Uh, we're going to do... Do a bear. Okay, 
even know what I want to create really, like doing anything really. Actually, that was the post that I wanted for my avatar before, but I accidentally clicked a different one. Uh, that looks great, I don't want to start over. Uh, I guess we'll just like add some stuff. I don't, I don't really know what to add, but... <laughs> What's up this? Nah, I don't want that. I don't really know what I want. Yeah, let's go to that. I'm not gonna put... I didn't mean to put out that much. Go body. Yeah, that's cool. Why about? We're gonna have a SOS mission. Let's go for this. We wanna do as many SOS missions as we can. Um, yeah. I believe this one chooses our avatar for us, or it gives us an extra avatar. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it gives us an extra avatar. No, the cube one might actually be pretty okay for this. Because there's a lot of um, sections where you need to fight enemies on this level. Um, so yeah, that'd be helpful. I can't actually remember uh, what um, cube ability does, like when you pick up a wisp. We can do. <laughs> yeah, that would I probably I should have been going for the red rings actually. Let's try doing some of that for the rest of this level. There are, yeah, there's a red ring here. Have I got I've got that? What red rings do I have? Does it tell me? I have the second one only. That's what the Cube Wisp does. <laughs> it pretty much just annihilates everything. So it makes these sections very easy. Oh, I ain't complaining. Okay, there's another red ring there, so we'll get that. Yeah, the red ring that we missed was literally like right at the beginning of the level, it was on the upper pathway. But I'm not going to restart. I don't even know if we can restart because we're doing an SOS mission. Uh, if you jump here, you completely skip that section. <laughs> It's not really much of a skip to be fair, because all you're doing is skipping like one little fight. But yeah. No, nothing. They're talking gibberish. Hey Tay. I changed the um the translation to um uh, um French. I was about to say Star Fox because you said gibberish. <laughs> I'd love to have like a voice acting style for Sonic where you can just make them go. <laughs> Oh, there's a red ring there. Sweet. Wait, where's that last red ring? It must have been on the path underneath. Oh well, we've got to revisit the stage later anyway. But yeah, if you complete a certain amount of um, SOS missions, then you that completes a mission. So, um, yeah. I think Star Fox should be a new language option in life. It should be. Yeah, I agree. I mean, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. <laughs> Oh, bear roll. Uh, so yeah, we want to go back to Green Hill. Said no one ever. Um, we'll pick Sonic again. And yeah, so the next collectible you have to find, and this collectible only unlocks once you get the red rings, which is a pain in the ass because that means you have to play every stage at least three times to get everything. Um. It wasn't like that in the demo though. The demo had everything unlocked from the start, which is weird. So basically, you have five green um, circle icony things. Um, you'll notice them when I get to them. And you have to collect them in the order of like numbers. So you have to collect 
five first, and then you have to count, get four, then three, then two, then one. You do it. You do it perfectly too. Someone's been practicing. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't actually been practicing. This is just how I am at the game. I, I was tempted to practice, but I didn't want to like. Um, I'd be messing with the save file data, and like I don't want to mess with the save file data. That was the um the collectible, by the way. We've got all the collectibles for this run round, so yeah. <laughs> That, that, those five little things I just picked up, that was the whole collectible they added to this new version of the level. Well, new, new collectible you get. Three times, kind of wish they did what Sonic Adventure 2 did, where you had challenges to do. Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, I mean, in a way, Sonic Adventure 2 kind of did the same thing, like... Because the extra challenges, like one of them would be find the child, Another one would be find emeralds, but in this location instead, or find 100 rings. So in a way, it is kind of like the same thing, replaying the same stage. Um, I feel like, in a way, it's kind of like... I don't know. I kind of like it here because you don't have to get the S rank when you do the um, stage again. But in Sonic Adventure 2, if you were to do the S... If you were to do the stage again, you'd have to get the S rank on all of the versions, and not just, like, the original version. And... Some of those are a bit of a pain, like getting a hundred rings in like a knuckles level, like sometimes you have to find the set path. I believe Metal Harbor actually, there's like, you get 99 rings, and if you don't know where one specific ring is, then you have to play like an extra minute of the stage without that one ring. And it basically forces you to get like something less than an S. So less than an A actually, because Sonic Adventure 2 didn't have S ranks. Now the final collectible is uh, Moon Tokens. Which I believe they were only in this game. They look like something that belongs in Mario Galaxy or um, Odyssey or something, close to be honest. Um, I can't remember where they are. I think they're down here. Um, but once you pick one up, the rest of them start blinking and you have to pick the rest of them up before the time runs out. Are they on the top half? I can't remember. They're definitely in this 2D section. Can I not get that Let's see if I can get this. Okay. I, I can I can at least get back there if I go into that. I just, you know, have to be able to jump properly. There we go. Alright. I might be on this upper path here. Yeah, it's right after the um, little seesaw thing. Um, seesaw? I don't know what they're called. These swingy things. It's here. Not this one, the next one. <laughs> there we go, these things. So they all blink and you have to collect all of them before the time runs up. And that's it. So once I beat the level, I've got all the collectibles in this level. And yeah, you do that for like every stage in the game. And it's it's kind of okay with like the 3D stages. I think I prefer just because I prefer playing them. But like classic Sonic, like finding collectibles in those ones, be a bit of a pain in the ass. I remember having to play those levels quite a few times just to find the stuff. So the next one will be an avatar stage. So, I think I want to change my wisp on though, because I have the basic um, flamethrower and there are better flamethrowers. I'm not doing that SOS mission. <laughs> there are some things that I don't want to do in this game, and one of those things is find a flicky K capsule in a classic Sonic level. No thank you. I like running better. <laughs> Yeah, we're missing two red rings. Music's so good. 
Espion here, my team's engaging the enemy in orbital time. I think we can hold him off for a while. Red ring in this section, I think. No. This section. That is... Oh, I've already got the first red ring, okay. I need the second and fourth. I was, for some reason I thought I only needed the first one. So I think the second one is right where you get the burst points in the capsule. So, aim to look there. Yep, it is. So, another thing that's kind of a. Oh, God. Controls. Thank you. Okay. I didn't press anything on the analog stick, and it just went all over the place. So, I had to move the analog stick. Um, yeah, so, some of the um, red rings, you have to use specific wisps to get them. And. It, it's okay in games like Sonic Colors, where the wisps are already there, but in this game, you um, you have to pick the right weapon to use, and if you pick the wrong one, well, you got to reset the level. And that's, a, that's a bit of a pain. Right, I believe the fourth one will just be up ahead somewhere. In, somewhere in this 2D section. It's definitely not in the grinding bit. Oh, actually, I remember where it is. It's underneath the platforms in this next section here. Now, if I hold on to this burst wisp, then I'll be able to save myself by full. No, there it is, down there. There. There we go. Yeah, there is a like, grappling hook there that you can latch onto, um, but I find it a lot easier if you use the burst, burst wisp to save yourself. And that's all of them because we already have this next one. But I'll probably end up getting it anyway because it's really fun just collecting all the rings in the section. There we go. So the next, we have to get the next collectible. Um, the next collectible is, uh, it's. In the first overhead section, we have to jump up those platforms right before the massive loop. So, quite early in the level. I mostly remember that because I was in the demo. I, I don't understand why the demo had all of, all of them and this doesn't. Maybe like the demo like files were like a save file of like a completed game or something. Now that wouldn't really make much sense though, because then it would have said you've already you have you already collected the red rings. So no, they specifically programmed it so all three were there. I don't know why they changed it. It's a bit silly. It also would have just been nice, you know, to just make them give you more stuff. Like, I mean, it doesn't have to be too much. Like, maybe if you like, so like the ones where you collect like five numbers, it reminds me of. Um, Ah, oh, here they are, here they are. I'm walking right past them. Uh, they remind me of um, the new Super Mario Bros, where you collect, um, like, I think it's five um, numbers or something. You collect five something. And then they give you, like, a power up or a mushroom or something, like a life mushroom. Um, so maybe, like, have them so these do the same, but, like, you know, they give you rings or something, I don't know, or a wisp. Just something to help you in the level. Could have been like a nice extra incentive for you know just if you just want to replay the level. I can't actually remember where the um silver medals are. I'm just gonna call them silver medals. <laughs> I mean that's basically what they are, it's one of six though. That's the combination of silver medals and moon medals. This game's a combination of 06 and unleashed. <laughs> Probably shouldn't even bother trying to time that because I just need to beat the level now. Like I don't need to worry about S rank because I've already got the S rank. Okay. 
I'm still not sure about Amy's voice. <laughs> Overpowered flamethrower is overpowered. <laughs> it would have been like nice to have like so like the wisp bombs. So, like it's nice having them overpowered, but it would have been nice if like throughout the game they weren't as overpowered, and then you can make them more overpowered, like more like you upgrade it or something, or the higher rank you are. Because like they give. It'd, it'd give me more incentive to replay the levels. And if like I complete the game and then I replay a level and like I'm overpowered, it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't feel as bad having it be overpowered like later on. It's like the equivalent I'm not doing an SOS in the classic Sonic stage, go away. It's like the equivalent of um having like Super Sonic when you replay Sonic 3 and Knuckles or something, you know. Hopefully we just run right into those moon medals because I don't remember where they are. section then. I don't remember them being in the 3D section. Just go right through this. Oh. I think, I might be wrong, does she have the thing where... No. Oh, really. Unless I didn't do it right there. Nah, she doesn't have it. I think it must have been the slide then that made me get hit. No, oh! Okay, so when you do the slide, she just goes forward straight away. That's annoying. Are the silver medals down here? Yeah, they are, okay. There we go. The stomp thing kind of helped that. <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna make me get hit more than it's gonna help me. I might need to change our whisper. Sweet. <laughs> At least makes you go fast when you want to do stuff like that. So it's usually get more salty about not being like having like be that close to an S rank but nah it's okay. <laughs> so right. Now I've got the classic song stage. Oh, I can't remember where the um, red rings are in these. But we'll try our best. I think Ghost Town the name of a Call of Duty 4 level. <laughs> We're gonna be playing these like probably extra slowly because I, I don't know where these are and I don't want to miss any. Is there anything we can get if we spin dash? Oh, there's a red ring. Which number is that? That's the first one. Cool. I'm going to assume there's nothing more there. Okay, I believe last time I played this, I fell down there. So let's go up here. 
If I go up the highest area, then I can at least fall down later. If I want to go back, it's so like there's not much up here though. I kind of want to go back to see if there's... What's down here? No, 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 not down there. Down. Oh, there's another way to get down here. But I don't think there's any red rings down here. I can't go back out there. It's down. Damn, not here. What if I go... No, no, Sonic, Sonic, what are you doing? Sonic, Sonic, Sonic! By pressing every button I can! Okay. Oh, this is gonna take me back. I could try jumping. If not, then hopefully I don't have to replay the stage. Jump, 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 jump. I, okay, I spammed jump and he wouldn't let me. I hope you don't have to replay the stage just to get the other red rings. Because I already have to replay the stage just to, you know, get the other stuff. Uh, oh, there's a thing. Going this way now. Yeah, this is not sure. I wish this was a bubble show. <laughs> like two red rings. Next to me and I'm next to you. Wish no fruit ones with the battles won. Oh no, this is the end of the level, isn't it? Oh, there's a red ring there. Okay, cool. So now we wanna I think I kind of have an idea. Can I please land on that platform? Yes, okay. Uh, that was a waste of time, because I landed down here anyway. Okay, let's uh, I say we just beat the level, and then we're going to have to replay it. Um, I'll kind of tempted to not do that. No, I won't just replay it. We have two left, I think. That was an S rank. That, I was goofing around on that for like four minutes. Okay. Did I have an S rank like before? Yeah, so we've unlocked another extra stage. That's cool. Three and four we need. I think it's safe to say that most of this first section is like already done when it comes to the red rings. Yeah, I think I went up there last time anyway, so. Ah! Oh, did I already have that though? I already have that. Game, give me false hope. Okay, so it must be somewhere after this. I'm gonna assume 
we saw a platform and it like took it by us. Take the speed boost. Oh, there's a spring there. That's how you get to this platform now. Because I feel like there's a red ring up here. Yes, okay. I think I know where the last one is. I believe it's underneath like one of these like swirly bridge things. Um like kind of like the corkscrews from um Sonic 2. Ah uh, yeah, this one, okay. That's it. I would just finish the level. I remember that one because I it took me a while to get that. On my first try. So now we've got the other collectibles. I think, um, you know, let's spice things up and do the SOS here, just because, oh, this is the finding animals one, isn't it? Uh, I'll try, just because I, I don't like playing Classic Sonic like over and over again. <laughs> And this one has quite a lot of pathways though. I was gonna guess it probably would be in a 2D section. Sonic's voice actor is so happy there. Oh, there's a red ring there. Well, I've failed that mission because I died, so. Yeah, if you die once, you can't do it again. Yes, we're going back to our classic Sonic stage. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change the voice acting to another language, see how that one sounds. Uh, let's go for... I remember one of the um, extra collectibles being one of the underground bits. Thinking it might be these things I'm trying to get now. Oh, I was right. <laughs> oh, sort of actually. I wasn't actually thinking of this area. Oh, that's that. So now we have to just finish the level. I don't think you can um, quit. I think you have to finish the level. Bit of pain. But I feel like in like if they try like these collectible things again, I feel like I should just have them all available from the start. It's kind of just like a weird way to pad it out, in my opinion, having it like this. I do like how the um, speed shoes do speed up the music because not everything actually, not every game like speeds up the music when you get the speed shoes. I prefer it when it speeds up the music to be completely honest. It's like kind of like an iconic thing, you know, like having the music speed up when you get the speeches. Okay, if you want to give like sign songs, it's belly. <laughs> it's fine. You were next to me and I'm next to you. I 
wish I could remember if Supersonic gets you the collectibles or not. I don't want to chance it. Because I know Supersonic doesn't count as like your best times and stuff. Like, if you get a best time and you play a Supersonic, it just doesn't count your time at all. in this section. I feel like there was one in one of those that were like under these sections. So now I'm kind of thinking actually one of the up top sections. I'm gonna go to this up top section. No, it's not here. Oh, oh, let's go back. To try that area down. Yeah. Might be down here. Or it's in neither of them. That works too. Oh, there they are. No. This time we have to go back. I probably shouldn't have got a checkpoint actually. I probably made it even once. Okay. Oh, this is just that thing where it's, yeah, it's this thing again, isn't it? Jeez, game! <laughs> Why you do this? Okay, well, we kind of know where it is. Kind of. I don't know, I'm not like the best with the level design for the classic stages. But, I mean, hopefully it should be. It's in most of like, the underground -y areas. Sonic Underground! <laughs> um, second section, maybe? Like, here. This one here, I think, because the platform falls, right? Yeah, this platform. Okay. Oh. I love that that spring is there, and they, like I all like always like just fall into that. <laughs> okay. Shouldn't go too fast. Stop. Okay. We'll look at it at our time as well. No. Okay. So I wanted to go fast, but I didn't want to go too fast. I jump over that. Okay. Cool. No, let, let me get myself. Be closer to it. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Just go down here. No. Alright, so we need to do what we did last time, but it's a little bit fast. This is what I meant by the classic ones being a pain. Good, good, good. Don't actually think I got that. I didn't hear the jingle. <sighs> Maybe I should just 100% everything except the classic song stages. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Oh. 
I want to use like physics to help me. Yes, okay, I definitely got that. Like, like what I did with that last jump. Like, I, I kind of wanted like you know bounce to get them. Bad enemies, not bad. Enemies. Um, but yeah, the mid-air control is so funky. It's a bit of pain to do that. That was still an A rank. Wow, that did not feel like an A rank. This game is too generous. I would have given that like a P. E. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I did get it. Right, prison hall. Let's change our weapon. Whisper the thing. What that sounds? Yeah, what that sounds? Just in case we'll just get something else. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I didn't actually check which red rings we had. <laughs> that was one, I think it was the fourth one. So I'll have a look to see in a minute. We have third and fourth one. I don't think there's a red ring down there. I'm, I'm thinking that they're... Yeah, they're on the higher paths. Okay, can I jump backwards? So that would help you help. You don't pick up much speed. <laughs> if I get to that curve there, it's going to start making me drift. Hey, there we go. I hit this one, no I can't hit that one apparently. There is definitely another one up there. Correct. We're gonna jump back. There we go. The last one is probably on a quick sec quick um, stepping sequence in the end. It's quite so good. Oh. <laughs> Well, at least I get to do the shotgun thing again. Oof, the love it. Yeah, let's, like, not jump in that bit. There we go. Oh. I was trying to skip over it, but I forgot the level design. That one takes out the top row as well. Yeah, that didn't take out all the buzz bombs, it's kind of weird. I did it again. Okay, I saved myself that time. That's because I stomped last time, that's why. Because the platform is supposed to come from like above, and you're supposed to get down there from above. Yeah, those, the weapon takes them like a little bit of charge up as one shots. Yes, this would be the fourth one. Okay. Question is, where is this last one? Is, is it on the top bit? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Oh. I remember there was a um, uh, one of the extra icons, the collectibles you can get is actually in that sequence. Thanks to silver medals. And um, yeah, you have to get all of them um, before they run out. It's a bit, it's a bit tough. Let's try and remember where these ones are now. I have 
no clue. It is not as bad playing the three D ones again. This, you know, the controls could be better, but it still feels like fun enough, so I'm okay with it. It's the classics on the classics. I don't like playing classics on a level three times in a row. Not that you know it's good design having the collectible be done like this, but you know. It at least isn't as bad as what it could be, I think that's just what I mean. That's actually kind of weird. I jumped over that checkpoint and I got it, but when I jumped over the checkpoint of classic song, I didn't get it. Luckily, like, I wanted that to happen, so <laughs> it doesn't matter, but still kind of weird. Ah, here we go. Ah, there we go. Oh, these ones don't have to get in like a certain amount of time. Where's the... Oh, there's the last one. Yep. Oh, oh no, I don't want to stop now. <laughs> It feels like adding a pop up for some reason. I'm gonna have to look into that a second. I hope I don't have to click that thing again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to click the thing again, on. Uh, I blame my computer. <laughs> go like down this way because two set. Last thing I want to do is accidentally hit the one. Because if you hit like a number like out of sequence, then um, it makes all of them disappear. And you have to replay the stage or die to get them. Amy Rose Boots. I would quite like to make Amy when um, uh, we get to making a hedgehog. But I plan to make Amy, Knuckles, and uh, Jet. Because I had them last time when I had my old account. I kind of want to do this SOS mission. Let's have a test, see if Supersonic allows me to do the SOS mission as well. Ma non è qui che saremmo dovuti finire. Torniamo indietro, ci stanno aspettando. Well, we basically just have to complete the stage. But I mean, we um, can at least look out for some red rings. Which ones do I have? None! <laughs> Take it a bit slowly, because I don't want a risk of death and want to look around just in case. Oh, I see a red ring on site. I'm not really sure where the red rings are. Might something might appear I call it. A wisp. That's completely useless to us. I think the 
that one, okay. There might be a red ring on this grind in this section, but it sounds like something Sega would do. I don't see a red ring. Oh. So yeah, when you get 50 ring turns supersonic, it's automatic, uh, which I forget quite a lot. <laughs> like, you don't press a button, it automatically just changes in supersonic. There we go. Oh, it's three. Uh, supersonic um, is invincible, uh, unlimited boost, changes the music to an instrumental fist bump. Oh my god, I did not want to do that. <laughs> I wanted to jump back down to get that red ring, but as soon as I press jump, I just went flying off the stage. I'm not doing very well with these SOS missions. But I think I'm doing good with uh, the collectibles and the extra stages. You're right, that's... Uh, where was that? Oh, that was crazy. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put that. Present wall. So yeah, these silver medals are going to be like right at the end of the stage. Get through the rest of it as fast as we can. I mean, speaking of like being fast, like it is nice that this character, the avatar, basically just controls like Sonic, you know, but with his own abilities. Like that's part of what I've been wanting Sega to do is just have other characters that play like Sonic and are fast like Sonic, but have something unique to them. It's the way I like them doing uh, multiple characters. Like, nothing's wrong with having multiple characters. I prefer having multiple characters. It's just when they make them play like they're not so long in a Sonic game, that's kind of a bit iffy. You know, at least the Avatar plays like Sonic. Did it again. <laughs> I keep doing that. Like, I do it instinctively. I don't mean to do that. Oh. I mean, oh well. At least I didn't die. And it does skip part of the level, so. Let's, let's just take it. Stop complaining. <laughs> Alright. I believe it's at the top section. Nope. I don't whack my head on the wall. Three, four, five. There we go. They're yeah, a bit hard to see there. Took me a couple of tries when I first played that. And that's that. Uh, Zavok, boss fights don't have any extra collectibles, so... Uh, so we just got... Okay. We got all of them except the fourth one. I believe a lot of them are actually in the multiple paths at the beginning. I don't, I don't know if I'll have to replay the stage cover. Oh, let's have a look up there. Nothing up there? Really? <laughs> I feel like there's not one here. Up there, there's one here. Well, that's the first one. I do this. Yes, okay, there's one here. Because that's, uh, this is the left pathway. Yeah, cool. Now the problem is, we've actually missed one, because you need to take the right pathway to get the other one. But I can't take the right pathway and the other pathways at the same time, you know. So we just gotta look out for the last one. I mean, I guess we look out for the fourth one, just so we know that it's gonna be after the fourth one. I 
think I know where the last one is actually. It's in one of these sections down here. Oh, it's here, I think. Yeah. No, we're gonna have to replay for the third one, but that's cool. Pretty sure it might have been impossible to get that on with the others anyway. Sit through these quick time events. Let's just spam the jump button. <laughs> Literally, like, taken like, straight out of Star Wars episode 4. <laughs> Sonic's face always clips for his body during that bit. Well, not always, but most of the time it does. Sweet. One gold badge. Santa outfit. I might be. We could dress up as Santa Claus. <laughs> I, I honestly don't, don't even remember having Santa Claus costumes when I first played this. Is there actual Santa Claus? Uh, I can't even remember. I don't even know if there was Santa Claus. I feel like there might be something similar to that. Santa Claus! <laughs> um, let's, let's, yeah, let's just replay this. I was kind of tempted to do the SOS mission, but my luck has not been very good with those, apparently, so... We'll leave them. So we want to take the right pathway. And right after this platforming section is a grind round, and after the grind round, go inside and there'll be a castle there, I think. Oh, I wanted to break it, but I didn't want to stamp on it in case it's a spring. I guess, see, I'm kind of curious what it is though. <laughs> okay, that's... It's ten rings, okay. I'm scared for nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right here. There we go. I actually went in this pathway during the story mode, but I just completely missed it. Because I usually just hold the left when I get spring. Okay, that will rise back up again. Just realized they have like those like lost hex like hexagon shapes on the um meteorite down there. Ecco, 
prenderò una navicella. Quella con cui sono arrivato qui deve essere nei parati. Una piccola crociera spaziale per tornare a casa. Now we have to sit through this quick farm event again. <laughs> and after that, this fighting will be the last time because we're still the um, silver ones. Today. Let's see if we get the thing again. Oh, no, it didn't happen that time. to find the numbered tokens. I think they're in a 3D section at the beginning of the stage. Oh. Oh. They look like they are on this pocket. I don't want to attack that clock. I need to pick up the thing. Oh, there's one behind me. Ah, there's the last one. I thought it was going to force me to homing attack onto that there because I pressed the button again to do a double jump. But no, it didn't. I don't do the next stream, I'll probably change the language to something else to be honest. Here we have like one language, hours or something. I press left there, but okay. <laughs> I pressed left like five times there. It did not go left. I really wish like you could like skip this. <laughs> They're cool to look at the first time, it's just having to see them every time you through per level. Usually when I play this level just like for fun, once I get to this section, I just pause and quit. <laughs> Cause I just Oh! His head went through his body again. I don't, he doesn't have the um, the little hop that you can do in the other 3D boost games. I've now just got the silver medals. News. I forgot I can't play a shadow because there's a cutscene quick time event. I can't actually remember where these moon tokens are. I think they might be near the end of the stage. Not gonna take that screen, but don't think it's only on the pathway. It's too like straightforward in that part of the level, so They're probably in like some 2D section. Oh, 
What is actually in here? Oh, there's a wisp power up in here. I never knew that. Well, that helps with this section now. Get through it quicker. Oh, we're just gonna run out by the time I get here. Isn't it? Oh, nice, lost for a while. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's somewhere in this area. Oh, there's one. There we go. I thought I was gonna like miss the last one because I felt like I took a little while to get to the second one. Next. See if we can make his head look through his body again. Oh, they have it again. <laughs> Probably be the last, maybe the last one I do. We'll see. La fabbrica del nemico è dentro la piramide. Posso inviare rinforzi se pensi di non poterci So we only need one, right? Or two. Okay. If one of them is up here, I think we got a change of things to Santa. Okay. It's somewhere in this section, I don't know. Uh, this bit? No, that doesn't take it. I didn't pick it up, did I? No, I didn't. Oh, there's more stuff down here. This is the okay. I'm pretty sure it's the first book. La fabbrica del nemico è dentro la piramide. Posso inviare rinforzi se pensi di non potercela fare. Non serve, noi due siamo più che sufficienti. Bombarderemo questo posto e apriremo un parco per la resistenza. Vero, collega? Hey, what was that? I swear I saw like an animal walking along with I think it's on this area. Yeah, there we go. I'm not gonna press anything. <laughs> I'm gonna have a drink. Yeah, even if you foul the double boost, you still get the double boost. You can also get through the section as well without pressing anything, but I'd like to, you know, get through it faster by pressing the Y button. So it's just the last one I need. I probably should change like cube or something. That made this section so much quicker. Hi guys! <laughs> It's like three shots. Yeah, sure, let's just go here this time. Oh, 
Last time I went to the right, I think. I got a checkpoint, didn't I? Um, I can't actually remember what pathway I took last time. Let's just go to the right. Oh, we can go down. Is that down is another way to go. <laughs> Might not have gone this way last time, I'm sure. Huh. I probably did go this way last time. Let's... Ah, there it is. There we go. It didn't even matter which way we go in Just want the five tokens this time. Just trying to remember where these are. I'm completely clueless, to be honest. Maybe uh, I, I know. I remember one of them being in the section where you fall down, actually. Oh, so that's how you're supposed to get the red ring. <laughs> To get on, we need to show the world what we need to do. Is it the ones or is it the moons? I know, I see one. The moons might be here as well, actually. should actually swap to the electric voice the next time I play this, because that would make this so much quicker. I can do that next time. It's aiming for that spring, but you know, Sonic's so fast, it's just going right past it. I guess we'll take the left pathway this time, just, just for some variety. Do they, no, they just link up to the same bit, don't they? Yeah, because isn't this the same? No, no, this is different. Because we didn't have drifting last time. Or at least we didn't have it in that area. That was enemies, I remember enemies. It's kind of weird that um, that section there is just the normal falling, like it's not the falling where you can press Y. Uh, we're going to change that wisp bomb. I believe the silver medals are going to be in that thing that falls down the falling section again, so... Yep. Yeah. 
nemico è dentro la piramide. Posso inviare rinforzi se pensi di non poterci arrivare. Non serve, noi due siamo più che sufficienti. Bombarderemo questo posto e apriremo un parco per la resistenza. Vero, collega? Pretty sure they're not in that section. So great having a Santa with you. This beard kind of looks like um, a cloud. <laughs> like like a cloud. Bingo's on the table. Yes, it's here. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill this up. No, let me die. Yeah, so we've got to get all those in one run and we have to do it quickly, which means I'm gonna have to press Y. It's gonna be a pain. Oh, we've got a checkpoint. Okay, we're gonna freeze up. The fabrica del nemico is dentro la piramide. Posso inviare rinforzi se pensi di non poter cercare. Yeah, this one's probably my one of the most annoying ones, to be honest. I don't really remember one being as annoying as this, actually, aside from like classic Sonic shenanigans. But, I mean, this is more of a case of it actually being hard to collect and not hard to find because classic Sonic levels are like a bit more like, I guess, open in a way. But like, they're so open, but like everything feels kind of the same. It's kind of hard to find stuff. No. Alright. Let's get myself there. We've got a stop with speed and timing. Bingo's on the table. Yes! There we go. It didn't take as many tries as I thought it would. Uh, so there's that. We could just cheese through the whole level because we have the electric crossing, which we should have really used the other times, but you know. I'm gonna have a look what the next level is. I probably won't, I don't know if I'll attempt it because uh, getting close to the two hour mark and I usually do streams like two hours. Luminous Forest, okay. Uh, so we're gonna go, yeah, this SOS is still here, so we're gonna get this one done. It's probably gonna be in the 2D section. May as well get as many SOS out of the way as possible. I mean, they will just keep appearing and appearing constantly, like no matter what, but there is a threshold of how many um, you should complete. Um, 
like mission wise. I can't remember how many that is, it might be like 30 of them, and you get all of the um, uh, rewards tasks complete. Okay, so the best thing to do is probably gonna look at the top. Oh, there's nowhere to be found at the top. Oh, there it is. There we go. Well, what I was gonna say is we go back. Back. Um, to the beginning of the 2 section, but it's probably not. But we don't need to. Sand Hill. Wow. Green Hill's looking a lot more like Sand Hill, guys. I'm not sure what the stipulation is for the um, SOS missions appearing. They, they just appear for all I know. I think you can only, there's only like a certain amount that are active at a time, like, there's like a cap, I think. I wonder if that will unlock another SOS. Oh, it does. Yeah, we'll go for that. It's Park Avenue. May as well. We still got an electric wisp, don't we? Lovely. <laughs> no going back now. I'm not sure if I've actually. Yeah, I have used the electric for the playthrough. And while you use the the um the whip, you're completely invincible. I mean, you could just spam it like this. <laughs> oh. Once again, it's very likely going to be in a 2D section. They always like to put them in 2D sections. Probably because it's like a bit more hidden in a 2D area. I, I want to at least check down here. I did not mean to have the light dash do that. Nope, okay. Always good to be sure. So I believe well, the left is just like the air section for um, first place. Oh, I can't remember if there's anything over there. There's a platform over there. Are they gonna be like annoying enough to do that? Oh wait, it's here. There we go. Oh, oh okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had it so it misses both if we grapple entirely in that falling section. But whatever, it's faster. <laughs> oh. oh. Will we get another SOS mission? <laughs> If we do and it's not a classic Sonic stage, I might end up doing that as well. There we go, clear five SOS missions. Shadow shoes. I mean, I actually could, would, would quite like to make Shadow because I had him before. Because you get like pieces of him from, um, I think it's DLC. I can't remember. Doesn't like an SOS mission has appeared. Uh, we've got this one. Spaceport. And um, we'll leave it here. So yeah, that's uh, that episode. We'll say we've got a decent amount done. We've got some of the extra missions done. Let's see. The secret missions, I mean. 
Uh, we've got one extra mission unlocked, which we'll go for that lot next time. And we have the first seven stages with all the items. So we're doing well so far. The next we'll have Luminous Forest. Um, we'll be going to that next stream. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow for um, the next stream of Sonic Forces.